Okay, this is my, uh, all the way from China. I, I already uh, opened this and put it together and, you know, I'd already plugged it in to make sure it works, you know. Just so if I had to get a refund or something because it was broken and, and uh, it works fine. So I just put it back in the box just so I can carry it down to the garage here. My mess of a garage. Okay. Got all sorts of gizmos and tools here. There's, look at this, it came with a bunch of sandpaper and polishing pads and stuff. And this was, uh, it was a different bag. I replaced the bag I put, uh, these are like extra tension springs and there's a plug here, which I really don't need. I don't know why they included that, but that's fine. There's a little wrench to put things together. And, uh, Fortunately, you can tell the yeah, right side up. The instructions are completely in Chinese, but there's an app you can get. Uh, I might post a link to the app that you take a picture of this and it'll translate it for you. But the uh, you know it's pretty self you know self-explanatory and the the pictures were good enough for me. I was able to just follow along with these pictures and I kind of knew. What was, what was going on and what I needed to do. Okay, so here it is. All right, and this is the uh, Magic Kalud. I'm guessing that's supposed to say cloud, C-L-O-U-D, but that's okay. I don't think I could spell a damn thing in Chinese, so. You know, what are you gonna do? It's fine. Okay, as you see, these are springs that keep tension on this. And you unhook these. And this should come off. Not the whole thing. Let's see. I'm supposed to try to get just this top part off. It's like velcro y. There. There's sandpaper. So you put your sandpaper in there. There's like a sticky. There's little bits of uh, double-sided tape in here that I, I'm probably gonna replace. I might put a like a whole Velcro pad in there so that it'll hold this in there better. Because up here, it's got Velcro, which was great. I wish this had Velcro in here. I don't know if it came with a... No, I don't think there's a, there's no Velcro pad in here that I can see. But uh, yeah, I might have to do that. Came with a good amount of sandpaper. I don't know if I could find these particular discs with the hole in the center like that anywhere, but I'm, I'm betting I can order them from the same people. Just make sure I order enough of them ahead of time because they come all the way from China. You know, that's the only drawback for me ordering from China. It just takes a long time. So let me see. Let me go get some beads and uh, that I rough cut already and see what this can do. And here are some beads that I cut. And unfortunately, the, the bit set I got, it ends up uh, slightly askewed there. See, so, yeah, it's a little bit off. Some, you know, that's another review I gotta do. I the one set of bits I got, and then I got another set of bits that I haven't tried yet to see if they're any better. But I'm hoping this, uh, this sander will be able to round that off and you won't even be able to tell we'll see okay so let me uh make sure it's off yeah okay let me plug this thing in hold on put the bead back where it goes I'll put this on wider there okay let me move this over a little bit and i have a plug up here hanging okay now Supposed to turn. This is a speed control, and this is a timer. I guess you know, so you can just leave it alone and come back when it's done. So I'm gonna put this, turn the speed all the way down, so it's not. Oh, okay, it's not doing anything. I think my I don't have it plugged in right. Hold on. My plug's not plugged in. Hmm. 
Oh. Never mind. Okay. Apparently, you need to have the timer on. So I turn this all the way down. You turn the timer on. And it'll go. And I did notice. There, that's, that's as slow as it'll go. Just hardly anything. There, and you speed it up. Yeah. And um, I did notice it does like an auto reverse thing. Let me see if it'll do it. It'll all of a sudden see it's going one direction. Right now it's going counterclockwise. I think it's just it's going to slow down, and now it's going clockwise. Look at that. So it goes back and forth. So let me turn this off. Slow this down. Okay. Oh, we'll see what happens. This thing, I'm hoping this is okay. It's not really stuck in here very well. I gotta do it better. No. Oop, see, there's part of those drill bits. <laughs> I want to dump those in there. That'd be a disaster. This is part of the drill bit set that uh, produced these. And I'm not too thrilled. I'm thinking it's probably better if you have this fuller. Oh, there's a piece, a little worm gear, grub gear, whatever, you, grub screw, whatever you call this. But anyway, uh, I'm betting when this is more full, like, you know, when you fill this up more, it probably might work even better. Oh, this is just, you know, trial run here. Let's see what happens. Put this on. I'm just going to put it on like a light. That's a pretty light tension there. It's not a heavy tension. I'll do it. Try that first. And uh, let's see. Turn this up. Turn the, well, let's turn the speed down. Turn this on. There we go. There. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Oh, the timer stopped. There. That's the timer. Okay. I'll come back in a little bit. I'm gonna stop filming this and then uh, let this go for a while and I'll see what happens. Okay, I swear, I, right before I started filming, it stopped. The timer went off. I set it for a half an hour and I just wanna see what these look like. It has been, as you can see, it's been making, uh, making dust. Everything is dusty now. That's a good sign, you know, that it's actually doing something. So let's say, let's put this on wide angle. Oh, hey, look at that. Wow, okay. It's not completely gone, but you can see, yeah. Wow, these are like rounded now. Very cool. Before I had that, that ridge. See, this one still has a little bit of the ridge. I don't know if you can see it, there's like that, it's hard to see it, but that's, yeah, and it's hard to see it, that's good. Before you could really see that, that ridge. So I'm sure if I leave this in here uh, for, you know, a lot longer, it'll really smooth these out. And this is the roughest, this is the coarsest grit, which I believe is 100. And uh, I don't know what the finest, let's see if I could look in here. And it goes up to 2,000. Wow. Okay. Let's see. What are the, the increments here? It goes from 100. Uh, looks like 230. 100. Oh, 320. That's strange. Okay, 100, 320. Um, 600. Hang on, let me zoom in. Yeah, 100. 600. Like a thousand, and then three thousand, yeah, and then you have these. I guess you can get like compound or something and actually polish. I don't think I'll. I don't think I'm gonna go that far, you know, with it. I'm not gonna go that crazy, but yeah. So far, so good, guys. So I'll see if I can post a link to where you can buy one of these, and uh, I'll probably be posting more videos as I, you know 
really get further into sanding and polishing these things. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.